What's up, YouTube fam? Here we are. We've got another uh, new toy we're adding to the collection. So uh, I think I told you guys in one of my previous videos of uh, one of my future purchases being a uh, jet boat. I was actually going to get the, uh, they didn't have it in stock, but I was going to get the uh, their actual river jet boat. You know, this brushless that goes pretty quick. And a few people have been having online pro on problems with it online. Uh, I haven't read that much into it, so I don't know if it's just, you know, a few individuals or if it's, uh, you know, across the board. So I decided not to take a chance until I research it more. And uh, this is a boat that I wanted as well. And it was a little bit cheaper. So I decided to go ahead and get this one first. And uh, you know, add the pro boat uh, river jet boat down the road uh, once I've done some more research to make sure it's going to be a good boat. Uh, but anyhow, this one I mean, this is nothing special performance wise. It's got two, um, you know, little small 380 brush motors. It is a jet boat, so there's no props in the back. Um, steering is not going to be as good with these types of uh, craft as it would be one with a big rudder, but. Um, the trade-off is that you can go in very shallow water. Um, overall, I mean, the boat looks killer. The gun, uh, unfortunately, broke off right there. You can see the little pin. That pin slides out, and there's another gun. Um, in fact, uh, it goes like that. But anyway, it was cheap. All I did was remove the packaging. They had it wrapped around, and by removing it, my finger, you know, barely hit, touched it, and it broke off. I mean... A little bit too easy to be honest with you but i'm gonna call them i'm sure they'll send me out another gun and you know it just pins right back in there so easy fix got the flag that's a sticker um you just basically wrap that around the pole there uh, so that's kind of cool uh, the turret up front you can buy a servo so that you can operate it like so which will be cool for the light um, when we get back in there in the creek you know that's going to kind of be cool uh, I plan on down the road putting the servo in. You had to have to get a different radio. And in fact, I have other radios with three channels. So, you know, that's, that's not a, a big deal there. So, not going to do it right away. But in the future, for sure, um, going to have the uh, turret working, you know, just for fun. So, there you have it. Oops. This is the Pro Boat Alpha Patrol Boat. It's got a lot of scale to it. I mean, it's actually got real rubber tires. Um, so when you're docking, you don't scratch the boat. Um, it's got actual working, um, you know, night lights. As well as the uh, up here, you got the spotlight. You have another spotlight here. Um, that one works. Light reserver. Um, to put the battery in, you simply just lift this up. It's just magnetically held in place. Not the performance, you know, of a success boat, so it doesn't have to be taped down or, you know, simple magnets does the trick. But nothing special inside here. Um, obviously, you can see the two motors there. Um, typical one-tenth scale servo. Uh, I don't know what the specs are on the ESC, probably just your 60 amp, you know, basic ESC. But nothing special, again, on the electronic side. It is ready to run. I'm just going to enjoy it, do a little bit of scale videoing. Um, plan on adding a uh, military style, uh, you know, helicopter and also a um, military style. Uh, I want to put my uh, Hummer camo body on something. So. We'll do a little scale video where basically we'll have the uh, the creek, you know, back in the back, this boat in that creek. We'll have it banking up to the sandbar, maybe have a helicopter land, take off in the Hummer. Just a little little silly fun action. Um, and that's about it. A little bit, We'll do a little bit of videoing on it. But just wanted something to kind of hang out in the back in the creek there. And uh, I don't know. I like the scaleness of it. This comes off as well. Um, so that's, you know, just if you're curious. Fabric type top, so it's not hard plastic, so you do kind of have to be careful. Mm. 
And and of course I put it down on top of the wires. So, very nice. But I'll fix that later. No big deal. But that's it. Just a quick review. Just typical remote. Nothing special there. My battery. I did get the one recommended for it. This is a two cell, 4,000 milliamp. This is a shorty pack. So what they basically did is they folded the cells over. So, you know, it looks like it has four cells, but it's really just two, just folding in half. I like that. Um, much smaller footprint. Comes with the uh, Velcro to, uh, you know, you put it right there in the middle and just Velcro it down. Pretty simple deal. So I'm going to go ahead and charge the battery now. And we'll get a little small running video of it in the uh, creek here and uh, in about an hour. So, thanks for watching, and you guys have an awesome rest of your day.